I would like to explain today the role of women in Taoism, just as in Catholicism, Blessed Virgin Mary has such an important role, a crucial role. Uh, Blessed Virgin Mary, uh, Mother of Jesus, uh, writer of the Holy Spirit, such a beautiful and deep theological message. We find in Taoism similar usage of women, holy women, to teaching men how they should meditate and how they should be filled with love and compassion. The two great women of Taoism who taught uh, all the men in their orders around them are named Wei Huatsun and Sun Bu Er. Wei Huatsun is a Taoist on Mao Shan, which is the central mountain of all Taoism in China. When you enter that beautiful area, climb the steps and go into the main altar, the main shrine, there are the founders of Taoism on the main shrine. These are the men who founded Taoism, Zhang Daoling and so forth. But right up with them, on the left side, as if in the most important side, is the woman Wei Huaxun. She is put there because she taught them all these Taoists, not only of Mao Shan, but all the Taoists, that they should observe these meditations of a document, Yellow Court Canon, uh, or Gold Pavilion. The Yellow Court Canon teaches us that we must empty our mind of all judgments, not just good or bad, all judgments, and we must empty our heart of all desires, not just the desire uh, for evil things, but of good things too. And only when we're freed of desires do we look outward and take care of the children we give birth to or take care of the families around us. And this is the beautiful work of Wei Huaxun in the Gold Pavilion. And it's a book which I hope we can soon reproduce and let you see. The other great woman is named Sun Bu Er. Eight uh, people, seven men, and one woman, Sun Bu Er, founded the Chuanzhen Taoist Order, which is much later Song Dynasty. The men who founded it gave teachings, but Sun Bu Er, the one woman, taught them the same meditation. I think that's important to see that in Taoism, women have the role of teaching true interior meditation. And I think that's something we should realize within us, that women are a most important part of our religion. And without them, our religion is not worth anything. Our religion really is founded through the help of women. Thank you.